In this video, I'm going to review how you can use the Tracer add-in for Revit to harvest information out of an open Revit document and save it out to an external SQLite database file. With the Tracer add-in installed, I can go to the Proving Ground tab and find the Tracer command. This Tracer command simply allows a user to export Revit data to the database file with the intent that this database file can be used with tools like Power BI to perform different types of analysis. The file also includes information that can be used by the tracer visual inside of Power BI to render diagrammatic views of the Revit data. I'm going to click on the tracer command, and I'm going to be prompted to choose a file location where this information can be saved. When I click Save, Tracer will go through the process of harvesting the document's data. When complete, you'll receive a notification that the export has been successful, and when you hit OK, it'll open up a window showing where the location of these files are. The Tracer add-in will produce two files. One is the database file containing the document information. This includes things like the document level properties, the element records, and all the parameters associated with those elements. It will also produce a Power BI template file that can be used to check the data. The template file can also be used as a starting point for constructing your dashboard. I'm going to go into Power BI, and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to choose to open that Power BI template. After choosing Browse, I'm going to navigate to the location of the database file and template. You'll notice that I can't see anything quite yet. That's because I need to switch this to a template view. Now I can now see the template. I'm going to click on the template and click Open. This is now going to prompt me to enter in the location of the database file. I'm going to go back to my folder, and I'm going to do a shift right click on the database file and choose copy as path. I'm now going to jump back into Power BI and paste that into the file path location. I need to make sure to remove the quotations around the path for this to work correctly. I'm then going to click load. What Power BI is now going to do is it's going to prompt me to log in using the ODBC driver. This prompt is unnecessary for this particular file because we have not secured the SQLite file with a database uh, username and password. So I can just go to default and custom and click connect. Power BI will now go through the process of refreshing the data in the template and pull in records related to the Revit file. When the process is complete, this template file will include some basic views pertaining to the Revit data. The first dashboard that's being presented here is a sample room report. This is giving a listing of all of the rooms uh, by area in a chart bar graph. It's also using the tracer visual to render those rooms in the form of these diagrammatic visuals. If I start to click through the chart, you'll see that the uh, tracer visual will update with that selection and highlight the associated room. I can also use this slicer off to the left hand side to isolate one level or another. Additionally, there is a sample element report tab at the bottom of the tracer template. This is allowing me to review all of the different elements that have been captured out of Revit in the SQLite database file. Here you can see we can choose things by element type. So if I wanted to see just the floors, I can isolate the floors. I can also choose to have a look at the family instances, at which point it's going to render the locations of those family instances. If I wanted, of course, see the rooms, like on my first tab, I can isolate the rooms. These two views in combination are really meant to give a user an overview of how the data inside of the SQLite file is structured and can be leveraged for different types of analysis. You can also use this template as a way to understand the different uh, tables that are available by way of the data browser. I can also begin to understand the different relationships between those tables. So hopefully this gives you an introduction on how you can export data with the Tracer plugin for Revit and then begin to analyze and understand that data using Power BI 
with some of the tracer visuals and other visuals that come with the program.